I had a lot of the material from people that I interviewed. So it's just a matter of putting it together and writing it so people, so, so, so people are entertained and not so much fluffing it up or anything like that, but just writing a straightforward story of what your story was, what, what his story was. And when you do that, people can follow it a lot easier because they can relate to it. So that's, that's all I try to do. <laughs> that one, now this one, you got this one for Dave? Yes. I, that one is for Ed. Ed, okay. Yeah, he'll like this. That's my son. I never know what to get him, so. He'll enjoy this. Here's the great thing about Coach Trestle. I've never played one down for Coach Trestle, but all my roommates were football players. I played baseball, and you couldn't help but kind of get caught up in everything he was teaching as far as fundamentals for winners and, you know, caring, love, attitude, handling adversity, um, being humble, you know, humility, all of those things. So you couldn't help when you were around those guys, you couldn't help but like kind of take in all of those things that he was teaching. And when you do that, you become a better person. You become a better father, a better brother, a better, you know, a better husband. And so that's what I got from him. Like I say, I, I didn't play it down for him, but I've known him for 20 something years and I feel like I was part of the team. That's one thing Coach Trestle always did. Like, it didn't matter if you were the water, the water boy, or you videotaped, or you were a manager, or you were Ray Isaac. It didn't matter. He, he treated you like you were just as, as important as the star player. And like, when he's out and about, you know, I mean, we had a book signing for the release in, July, in, in last month in Columbus, and everybody that came up, he talked to them like he, he had known them for years. Good, 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 because like I said, I haven't talked to him since I'm... Named Bob Mansfield that helps uh, Coach Trestle down at uh, OSU uh, with uh, education and, and everything and the stories that he has, and he uh, mentioned that uh, there's a piece in the book about uh, Bob. Sports means a lot more than just like winning and losing. It has a lot to do with developing you as a person, overcoming odds, um, overcoming obstacles, handling adversity, all of those kind of things, developing teamwork, all of that. And, and those are things that you use in life every day. Because I covered LeBron his freshman year, his sophomore year. And you know, his freshman year, you're like, man, this kid's gonna be a great division one player. And then it was a sophomore, you're like, man, he could probably start in college right now. And then his junior year, it was like, I don't think he's going to college. And then that senior year was just crazy. But, but when he was on the cover of Sports Illustrated and you would go to his practices and outside you'd see a live truck with the antennas out from all over, you know, Northeast Ohio. That's when I realized, man, this is crazy. This is surreal. I've never seen anything like it. So that's when I said, you know, I should start chronicling this and because this will probably never happen again. So his senior year is when I really started writing the book because you really didn't want a book to come out while the kid was still in high school. You kind of wanted to wait and see how his high school career progressed. So the, the, the book, this book here came out uh, a week before, uh, a week before his first game in Sacramento. So it was perfect timing. I had to get the trust of him and Gloria because they were really, you know, they were in the media all the time. So they had to make sure they trusted somebody to be able to write this. And so I'm just grateful and thankful that they let me do it. Maybe his first book, he went out and solicited to write the book, but now he is, his writing is so incredible that these people come to him and say, I want to write a book. Would you write, help me write a book? Youngstown is so important to me that, you know, I've got tattoos all over my body that say <laughs> Youngstown. That's how important Youngstown and Mahoney Valley uh, is to me. And I think it's just the area and, you know, the economy and just back in the 80s, the steel mills and just you had such a mix of different, you know, ethnic backgrounds and groups. And sports became that Friday night, that Saturday night, you know, gathering, regardless of Ohio State or whatever. You know, on Friday you were going to eat dinner and go to a football game. And, and you're going to talk about that for years. Got, you know, that play that you made and you won the game. People talk about that for 20-something years. So it's just, it's always been an important part of the fabric of the Mahoney Valley. So that's what I just love about this area. Yeah.